Welcome back. Joining us via Zoom this morning, we welcome in Congressman and candidate for Montana Governor Greg Gianforte. Congressman, we're eight days out from the election. So let's start with what you're focusing on here in the home stretch. Well, we've been, Casey, it's good to see you. It's good to be with you this morning. We're here in Bozeman, sheltering from this cold, uh, but uh, we're focused on getting our message out. Uh, I, we're not doing traditional uh, meet and greets right now because of the, the circumstances, uh, but we're pushing the message about more good paying jobs and the virtue of having business experience in the governor's office to get our economy going again. Because the reality is prior to this whole COVID situation, Montana was 44th in the nation in wages. We've got the second highest number of kids in foster care of any state in the country. And we have the lowest starting teacher pay. It's time for a change. We've had 16 years of Democrats in the governor's office and we just haven't gotten the results. It's time to create some more good paying jobs so our kids don't have to leave. We're not exporting them with the beef and the grain. You talk about the pandemic. Now, COVID cases are rising at an all-time high right now across the state, especially here in Yellowstone and Bighorn counties. So I want to ask, how do you rate Governor Bullock's handling of the pandemic so far? Well, I always give favor to the person that's on the front line. This situation has been unprecedented. Uh, you know, we just didn't know what to expect. We didn't know what was going to happen two and a half months ago. We don't know what's going to happen two and a half months from now. I do know as I travel the state and visit with folks, people want to get back to work. Uh, we have uh, this, this health situation is serious. We need to take precautions uh, to protect the most vulnerable, particularly our seniors and our healthcare workers, but we've got to get our schools open back up. That's why in Congress, we appropriated $1.25 billion for the state of Montana to help and open up schools safely. Unfortunately, most of that money is sitting up in hell and it has not been distributed to our schools. I would have gotten that money out. I think that we need to deal both with the health crisis, but we also have to deal with this economic crisis that we've created that's put 150,000 Montanans out of work. We've already seen over half of mail-in ballots in a lot of Montana's more populated counties be turned in. Do you like to see those kind of numbers in early voting returns? Well, I think it's very important that everyone's voice is heard. That's why uh, getting seeing these high voter turnout, we saw it in the primary as well. Uh, there's never been a more clear distinction in a race. We see it up and down the ballot at the presidential level, at the Senate level, uh, here in the state. Uh, it's important that people get out and vote because their future depends on it. Now, one of the biggest issues seemingly around every race in Montana this cycle is about public lands. You've been criticized by opponents for being against them. What's your response, especially with general hunting season having just started this past weekend? Well, I spent my weekend with my wife on block management uh, pursuing uh, antelope. I, I'm pleased to report that Susan tagged her antelope yesterday in the cold. Not only did she get out there with me to experience it, but it was 10 degrees and blowing. It was a tough day to be out hunting. Uh, of course, I mean, no one is proposing uh, to sell public lands. This is really a, a dog whistle from the left. We're going to work, and I'm proud of my conservation record in Congress. We need to keep our public lands in public hands. We need to be working to increase access. That's why I was the only Republican member of the 115th Congress to consistently vote for permanent funding of LWCF. And then I work with the good folks down in East Rosebud to get the first wild and scenic river designation in the state of Montana in over 40 years. So I'm proud of my conservation record. And when I'm your next governor, uh, we're gonna have better managed forests. Uh, we're gonna have more access and we're gonna keep these public lands open to the public. Well, Congressman, thank you for being with us. Congratulations to your wife on the tag, Phil. Just the diehards were out in that weather this weekend. Well, you can put us in that category. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much, Congressman. Take care. Yeah.